Hey guys, so um, just a quick PSA send off video for my 5 day card order. Um, I've got I think 10 cards going out on that 5 day order. I've cracked out the 9s out of the cases so I thought I might as well do a video. Um, sorry um, for the last video, um, it cut off at the end, my battery dried. Um, so yeah, I, I covered everything that I wanted to anyway so as I'm pretty crap at video editing, um, I tend to not edit any videos. So if I mess up, I actually redo the whole video again. But yeah, let's get started. Um, first off, we have a No Rarity Hitmonchan. Get out the sleeve. This one's in pre-mint condition. There's minimal silvering on the edges, barely none. Um, the only thing laying it down is that centering so um, not entirely sure uh, why or grade I've seen badly centered ones get tens but um, a majority of them um, just get the nine so it'll probably be a nine um, in my opinion I think I bought a Nido King um, no rarity a couple of days ago on Yahoo Japan I'm not sure if I won it or not I'll have to check, but um, apparently that's in mint condition, so can't wait to get that one, if it definitely is. I think it comes with the actual quick starter box, so I'm not sure what other no rarities were in that auction. But next up we have another Shining Mewtwo. This one just has a touch of whitening on that top, but apart from that it's pretty much uh, mint. It's a touch OC, um, that board is a touch bigger than that one. So, um, those are the only things I can see wrong, but I've seen worse. Um, I'm going to take a shot um, and see if he gets a 10 or not. Um, I've actually got one 10 from that PSA returns, and then these two came back as 9s. If I get another 10, um, I'll definitely be keeping one and then just sell the other one. Or even then, if these get 9s again, uh, I'll probably just keep the 10. But here's the second uh, Shining Mewtwo. This one's uh, much better centering. And just has that little dot of whitening there. Let's get to focus. There we go. It's way less than that PSA 10 Raichu I had, so hopefully, hopefully this comes back as a 10. Someone in there, I think. But the back's pretty much mint as well, so hopefully, hopefully this one's um, a definite 10. This one was the one I got from Japan, alongside the Raichu and Celebi, so we'll see what happens. These will be leaving uh, to PSA tomorrow, so touch wood, these should be graded by end of next week. Um, here's a first edition Charizard Gold Star. As you can see, the centering is a touch off, um, the bottom board is a touch bigger. But um, overall, if you look at the card, it looks pretty decent centering wise. So, not sure if you'll get the 9 or the 10. Uh, this is the last time I'll try. Uh, this is the second time I think I've sent it. Um, and that other one is I only recently got. So I'm hoping for at least one of them to get a 10. And here's the second one. Just get it out. So here's the second one. This one's a bit bigger than that other one. Centering wise that left border and the bottom border are pretty thick so see what happens hopefully this one's a 9 that one gets the 10 um, back on both of them are mint so there's no worries that side it's just purely on the centering uh, where the grades determined on those two um, next up we've got the TMB uh, Moltres, I'll just quickly show, I've already shown it as well, so it's only got that bit of whitening there, it's got some scratches there, but 
because the card what's made on you can't you can't physically feel the scratches it's just the paints come off basically so it's pre mint apart from that it's got some white in there so I'm hoping for a night to be honest we'll see what happens considering what I paid I'll be happy with any grade to be honest I ain't gonna lose money on this Um, next up we have a Shining Celebi same again it's just got the minute whitening at the corner need to focus there we go it's just got a touch of whitening there this is probably it's insignificant to be honest um, my PSA 10 watch you had a big chunk missing and I got a 10 and this is pretty well centered as well there's no scratches no nothing it's perfect so hopefully second time round this definitely gets the 10 as it definitely deserves it next up we got two right shoes um, let me just have a quick look at them. I think this one's the Touch OC one. Um, it's just a bit, it's printed on an angle. Um, it's mint apart from that. So I'm hoping PSA look at this, give this a 9 and then give the other one a 10 as that one's pretty much perfect. Um, Uh, let me just show you this one The centering on this is way better than that previous one so Touch wood and um, this one gets a 10 and The back is pretty much mint again on all of them so pretty happy and um, This one came from Japan, so I paid I think 15 K yen paid quite a bit for it so really want that 10 and I've just I thought I'd crack this one out as well it's the Umbreon EX Unlimited and um, I like to have um, normal cards on the top and bottom of my orders just for protection so I just chuck a cheap card at the bottom just in case if something happens <laughs> this gets damaged and not the uh, more expensive stuff uh, this got an 8 um, but it definitely deserves a 10 in my opinion there's nothing wrong with it I can't see anything wrong with it anyway but yeah guys um, those are my 10 cards that will be going for the 5 day order recently PSA bumped their price up from $20 to $22 so I'm going to end up paying what $20 more than if I sent it in last month so no worries there, I'll pay the $20, um, but Touchwood I'll get some good grades from these 10 cards. I'm hoping for at least 5, 6, at least 5 uh, PSA 10s, um, so we'll see what happens. But hope you enjoyed the video and as always, thanks for watching.